If you've gotten this far, you have a feel for what I'm doing. I'd like to talk to you about the importance of this kind of research. History defines us, but inaccurate versions of history can also be used to define us. There are people who will tell you that this has always been an English-speaking country, and therefore you shouldn't speak any other language. But is it even true? Is that story of, a, of always an English-speaking nation founded by English speakers true? Well, if it were true, we wouldn't find names like this on the list of the American martyrs um, who died in the American Revolution, uh, giving their lives for our principles. Now, the American martyrs, their remains are uh, buried about 27 miles from here. Uh, they were uh, POWs. Uh, captured by the British and basically tortured to death in British prison ships in New York Harbor. Uh, they weren't given enough food, enough water, uh, no medicine, no air in many cases. They, they were stifled to death. They smothered in the holds of these prison, prison ships. And uh, in wintertime, no warmth, uh, no medicine. Uh, now the estimate is that at least 11,500 of these uh, men uh, died in that way. Uh, they were buried either by uh, being put over the side of the prison ships or uh, in shallow graves along the beach where the Brooklyn Navy Yard is now. Uh, their remains were collected in the beginning of the 19th century and buried in uh, what is now Fort Greene Park. You find names like this. Now this is a very small selection of the names uh, just from the first page of the list. Don Miguel Abasuro, Don Ambrose Alverde, Don Pedro Ascovasuto, Don Pedro Axuala, Duke Aterra, apparently the Duke of Aterra, Sebastian de Agdora, Robert Amistad, Joaquin Alconum, Juan Ignacid Alcorin, Manuel Amixarma, Pascal Andrews, note the anglicization of the uh, surname here, Pasquit Andrews, and Pisco Andrews, Asensid Arismano, Jose Acevlado, and now French names, James Advois, Francis Allegre, Jean Ancet, Georges André, Pierre Anso, Jacques Antiqua, Guillaume André, Dominique Angola. Well, actually, the name Dominique is, is uh, French, but Angola, uh, this could be a, well, this is apparently a woman and uh, possibly from uh, Portuguese West Africa. Then we have German or Dutch or Ashkenazi names. Um, Ashkenazi. German, Dutch, or Ashkenazi. Sorry for the mispronunciation. Jacob Alkepike. Jacob Alsfrug. Jacob Alsoch. Jacob Alstreich. Henry Achenup. Then we have some Scots or Scots-Irish. William Armstrong, James Armstrong. Then we have two other very interesting names. Uh, Igarks Babu Angushin. Now, Babu is a, uh, a name, uh, a word used in South Asia, in India, as a, as a, as a, uh, a title, a, a word of respect. Um, it, it originally means a father or grandfather. But when you attach that to a name, it means, I am honorable. So here is a prisoner of war saying, I am honorable. Um, and uh, perhaps from British... Uh, British India. We have also Arahan Alman. Again, the name Arahan is, a, is of Hindi origin. So these apparently are uh, Indians from India, uh, perhaps from British India. Now, those are just a small selection of names from just the first page. And I, I uh, eliminated uh, many more in order to uh, save you some time. Um, but um, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of other non-English names in the remaining pages, the listing of the American martyrs. Uh, these include Irish, Welsh, Scots, I have a list here, Dutch, Germans, Jews, French, Spanish, Italians, Africans, Native Americans, and other non-English who fought for the principles of our revolution. So to sum up, this has always been a multilingual, multi-ethnic nation. And when did that start? Right back at the beginning at Roanoke. I hope you enjoy the project. Thank you.